Okay, now we're to the mathematical part of it, which what I'm going to tell you is, here's my pilot, this is my little tool I've showed you before that I've made. See, it's got threaded ends and an adjusting nut, okay, and a sharp point right here, and I can adjust this, and what makes me set my math is I have a formula that I use that takes the diameter of the valve and the amount of radius, this area in here, which is a 70 or 60 degree seat, whichever I choose, how much that I come in here and leave my line draws so that way when I'm porting the head, I port along that line to get the roll and the radius that I want. This little tool combined with the right mathematics on setting this bowl can majorly change the flow and all the way across the board. Used to years ago, people thought, oh, valve job only makes a difference one, two, three hundred lift. Wrong. It can set up the radius to control how much more you got at what uh, shift. A long radius might mean, I'm not going to say what it means, some of the things I'm keeping to the self. A big long 70 might mean a better turn at low lift, whereas a short radius might be a better high lift flow. So you try to use that knowledge to compromise and everything, but just for purposes, I'm not going to go into the math part, but what I am going to show you is how I do it. I've already preset and put my math into it per percent of of the uh, degree seat. So let's get up here close. Let me show you how I lay it in. Right, then all I do is simply turn it around. Just go back and forth. And you can see, I'll put a light on it in a minute, that it's got um, a line and that line is where I'm going to go from behind that and pour it back in. So where the line's at underneath, I'm going to go back in there and pour it and pull that around and make the port come all the way up to that little bit, whatever with 70 degree angle that I want. All right. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. Now, pull it out. This is where I'm going to have to light. I have a light, I do believe. I just put some new lights in up top too to give y'all a better uh, view. Now I don't know if you can see it. Look. Yeah, see the line? Hold on. Look at there. Right there it is. Now see, that's got a certain width on it. Because he is street driven, because he's running on the street and just don't need absolute high lift flow, there's a certain length that I got. But look at there. Now, might not look like much, but in order to make the rest of the bowl pull into that, you I got to go back in there and chop a considerable amount and return some of that short turn radius. Now because all the action is hopping up near the top, I'm not going to have to go back in here with the push and pull that old 40 grit paper and go through that living hell again because boy that'll wear your arms clean out but I am going to be able to go in there and get the lines and make a nice roll right into it so anyway just wanted to show you that so what I'm going to do next what I'm going to do next is um uh, for the purpose of the video to show the difference, plus I wanted Bob to see this so there's no doubt that he's understanding what's going on, which I talk to my customers a lot. I always go over this with them. I'm going to go ahead on this one, scribe the line on the exhaust on this side, go in there, port it. I'm going to show you how I port it, pull it in, reshape it, and then we're going to bring it back over here or on the table, and I'm going to show you the differences, okay? of this bowl that was done by a surty machine and cut and opened up versus head bites version and the numbers we get between the two and how it rolls in. Because once I knock this out, remember I have to go back in there on this one hole, pull all the valve job stuff back out, redo that, rescribe it. So uh, Bob's working with me on it. He really needs his head, but this was important to him. And it's important for me to show you this because I'm showing you the difference in it being done the right way, even though I'm using stones versus just putting it in the machine, letting the machine do the cutting and spit it out the door. The difference in airflow is tremendous. So I got one that is and one that isn't, and you'll be able to see it up close. 
Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and start the procedure. I'm going to go ahead and scribe the line. Next shot you're going to see is when I'm at the port bench cutting that. So i got to reset my stations up. Hang in there, guys. We're almost done with this turkey bird.